here. Hmm. Grab it. Hmm. Let's go here. I'm gonna go here. Yeah, I'm thinking too long here. Hey, Jim, Walde, Alvestine, thank you to uh, Yankee for the tier one. Thank you so much. Just eating a bar while I wait. Okay, I don't understand 92 at all. Um, go here. Go here, trade some juicers. I have night before next move. I mean, actually, I don't know. Why didn't I just trade on, trade on, um, F3, very weird. Okay, let's think. Let's go here. No, here, 95, maybe. Very stupid. I forgot about knight h6. I'm thinking if I trade and go queen d7, there's no trick, right? Yeah, let's trade and go here. If takes, takes queen g6, I just have queen g7, rook e8, trade king h7, and then I'm completely fine. Or I think I am. Oh, wait, I'm not. Or wait, no, I am. I am. I am fine. I mean, I'll pre move because it's a safe pre move. Let's see what he does here. So it goes back to G3, which I think is a terrible move. Okay, now it's time to take the initiative away from him. Let's go uh, go here. I'm way up on the clock, too, I just realized. So let's go here, Knight C6, of course, and then Bishop F7. Go here. I actually just hung a pawn. He missed Queen A7. Start pushing the juicers. Go back. <clears throat> Go here. Now I've got knight, D knight G4 maybe. Let's just take. No, my opponent's not Dingus. Uh, sorry. No, my opponent's not um, Ding. Ding Loran. It's um, uh, my opponent is uh, someone else. It is uh, someone by the name of Nicholas Theodoru. Go here in Queen C2. <laughs> Okay, you guys, come on. Stop being weird. Stop being all weird here. Let's just... Wait, is there actually a trick here? Let's see. Wait, there is actually a trick. I think I'm going to go here in rookie five. Or he's trying to cheese me with some nonsense. Let's go, um, let's go here, maybe. Take. Okay, now I think I check. 
go here. I've got knight f4 and it's GG. Go here. Oh, he does have that, doesn't he? Let's go here and here. Go here. <clears throat> okay, one up. Nine to go. Let's keep rolling. Let's go D4. Take it to Yuri for the tier one. Nicholas is not a not a Chinese name. Uh no, it's not. It's uh it's the Greek, it's the Greek freak, Nicholas Theodoru. Um okay, E6. I think C4 Knight Caesar is fine here. Yeah, it's the Greek freak. Uh his name is Nicholas Theodoru. I mean I assume I should take and go like knight of three. I have some A3 weird stuff. Um I think A3 because D4 I have knight A4, right? A5, B4, knight B4, A4. And if I take, I've got knight E4 here. A little bit suspicious by Nicholas. I also have knight A4 here. Feels suspicious. But I could be wrong. More like the Greek geek. <laughs> Let's go knight E4. Come on, don't be rude. Nicholas is a very strong player. The Greek geek. Unbelievable. You guys have mental issues. Um, I mean, I can obviously take rookie eight, bishop d e two, queen b five, queen d two is not wonderful. Um, knight d four, rook d eight, queen c one is kind of very dry. Don't really have better though. B four is no good. E d four, rook e eight, bishop b two, queen b five. Now nah, I think I have to take. I think I can play... Oh, I should have played Rook C1 first, though. Rook C1 first was a much better move. Um, okay, I'll go here and just trade then, I guess. Can't really win. This is already just a draw. Takes. I guess I go... I'm going to try this. This probably doesn't do anything, but it's worth a shot. Might just be a bad move, in fact. Yeah, it's actually just a bad move. I have to go here and run the king out. I go king g3. I mean, he has rook d1, but I actually have bishop b5 here. If I get bishop c4, I'm surely fine. I mean, he's looking like rook d1. No, I won't go on to win this game if, he's, if he plays this correctly. I messed this opening up. Uh, whoa, he does actually play that? Wait, what? Okay, so now I go here. No, I mean, now, 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 yeah. Yeah, actually, now Nicholas is going to lose the game. Sure enough, you guys, as soon as you said, yeah, but he's going to win the game anyway. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not going to. He blunders work D1, and now I'm going to win the game. Um, <laughs> okay. Thank you to Arnifu for the nine. Thank you to Ivanko for the prime. Thank you so much to Ivanko. Appreciate it. Thank you to all you guys for the love and support. You're all really amazing. Thank you so much. Nicholas Theodore, yeah, he's the Greek geek. He really wants to get adopted um, by Hikaru and uh, and uh, Magnus, apparently. Let's just pawn. And I think Bishop C4 is an important first move. To touch F7, he has to go back, and now, I mean... Okay, I just take. I mean, it's two pawns. And do I go B4? I think B3 is safer. Yeah, H5, he's trying to do something here. Yeah, and I can play H3... Oh, I also have Rook A5. Actually, Rook A5 is just winning. Well, let's just go here. H4, King, H3. The pawn's under attack, and I'm just going to take next move. Pretty easy. Good stuff. I think he's going to resign here, by the way. All right, so this is going to be two up, two down. Eight more to go. Eight more. Eight moss. That's our goal. Eight moss. I just take the pawn. Goes to f5. I mean, I don't, I don't really understand what that does. I just go h4, f4. Um, I mean, f4 is a move. I think f4 is. I mean, I'm just gonna go f4. I don't even know if it's the right move, but I just assume this is winning a4. Go here. Yeah, he just resigns. Oh, he played d4. I did. Okay, I'll go e5. Play an old Indian defense. It's like a Swiss cheese opening.
Actually, wait, this is not right. Wait, I, I already blundered in this opening. This is wrong. Although I do have bishop g4, maybe. Kind of a weird position. Okay, I put pressure on the knight. I can play like queen h4. Not a great position to play. I will say that. My highest rating ever was 3332. I mean, I'm not going to get there ever again. Um, that would that would require miracles of epic proportions, and it's just not happening because there aren't enough high high rated players anymore. Can play an end game. I really don't want to. Um, yeah, this is not a good opening. I guess I'll just play. Let's go here, knight d7, queen e7. Go here. I guess I'm going to take next move, of course. I always have bishop h5 as well. Just e4. I mean, I assume I'm gonna just go here. I mean, I'm obviously trading. It's just a question: when am I trading? I always take next move. Probably gonna play rookie one here and force me to trade right away. Yeah. Okay. I have to take. I think I can go g6 maybe king b8 or rook e8 i mean this looks very scary actually like maybe i'm actually losing here yeah i think i might be just lost although i do have takes in rook e8 it doesn't have a clean way to win there oddly enough e5 takes 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 queen f4 rook e8 and then i have knight h5 so it's actually fine if i get rook e8 and i should be completely fine Just have Theodora and Pranav farm everyone else and you can farm them. Well, I mean, obviously that would be, that would be the dream. That would be the dream. That would be the dream. Oh, he moved. He played rookie too. Whoops, it's my move. Um, I think I'm going to go knight h5 here takes okay i'll take with the queen i want to go queen f5 next move i can go queen up whoops i can go queen f5 next move e5 he doesn't play f5 not sure thank you to axe warfer for the 12 months thank you so much still streaming yes we're still streaming you guys All right, what are the moves? I can play rookie eight. This looks correct. Just e5, queen f5. It goes b3. I'm just going to go here and queen f5 or rookie eight. Okay, let's just go here. Although now I gave him e5. No, no. Oh, now, now I made a mistake. I just blundered. I guess I'll play f5 here, e6. Maybe I just go queen d8. This is pretty ugly. I also blundered knight b5. Wasn't paying attention for a second. Stop paying attention for one second it just cost me the game i think it did at least oh he's just gonna do this interesting okay i take okay i have queen d4 and rookie seven maybe also just take i guess so if i check and take rook d2 is not as just bad nah, i just play this terribly i just take and go here Go here. I need to go knight of four, knight of six, and pray. Go here, knight e4. I get knight e4, maybe it's not so bad. I mean, I'm obviously still lost. I could go here. A5, I have check, I thought. Oh, I have queen h2, which is better. Well, I still have queen h2. Wait a second. Or maybe I'm just. Wait. Do I have this, maybe? I mean, I'm sure I'm getting made it somehow here, right? I go here. Where's the mate, actually? He has a draw. I don't think he has a win, which is pretty insane. This is nuts. I think it's just a draw. It's just a draw. Of course, I'm unhappy to draw a game, but considering how completely lost I was, I can live with that. 
I mean, I was completely lost. Go here in D3. Draw is also only offset a win. So draw I can live with. As long as I don't lose any games, I'll probably gain points long term. Right, let's go here. Take. I'm going to play something. Let's go check and back. This is like a computer idea. Probably stupid, but um, actually it is just stupid. Why did I do this? Let's go here. No adoption. No, I mean, but adoption's not realistic. Let's be serious. Um, I'm going to go here. Just cut him off. You can play H6 and then like... I think my position is fine though. Okay, I think I'll go back. Now G6 hangs. He's going to have gonna have two sets of double pawns it's not really that big of a deal objectively but it is still a little unpleasant pawns are all a little bit soft a vienna 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 yeah let's trade i mean knight f3 looks good i'm probably just gonna cat i mean i assume that i should count i'm gonna play h4 to stop g5 very important to move he still has 94 but i can always just trade okay let's go here for c4 i just take okay now i'm gonna castle um Play, I'm gonna play Queen G3 to target the pawn. Okay, B5 is a surprising move by Nicholas. I'm gonna go here. C4 I will just take. I'll give up the two rooks um, for the queen. So I think his pawns are pretty mediocre. Okay, so how do I do this then? I guess step one, do I play rook d2 or do I go like knight c1 or something? That's the question. I need to rotate. I can also go c3. I don't love it though. No, I think I'm gonna go knight c1. Keep it simple. If knight d4, I just go knight e5 a5 i mean maybe just knight a2 knight c3 i think i'll just go rook d2 and rook rook d1 go here let's play knight a2 stop this a b4 push it's kind of pesky here and I, I need to keep an eye on this pawn on e5 as well i always have rook d1 and then d4 so this looks quite fine let's go here 100 gonna play for d4 and a move or two 100 or wait, he's got knight a5 now, which I forgot about. Okay, I have d4 if I want it. Um, how do I break? I think I'm just going to reroute my knight again. I still think b4 is bad. Does it? Interesting. Okay, take. I mean, I always have d4 here, so I'm kind of skeptical about this idea. Knight d4, I just take and go knight e2. Very skeptical about this by Criari. Doesn't look right. Okay, let's go here. If knight before I still have queen e5. Okay, so he just sacks. I mean, obviously I take with a queen. He has knight d4 here, I guess. I mean, I can go queen e3. It's actually not trivial. I'm kind of, kind of in a little bit of danger here. Go here. I can play like rook c4 maybe. Obviously trade, but I don't want to. So let's go here and take, I guess. I'm up a lot of time, but it's not easy to play this position. There's a3. I can obviously sack. I can play b3. I can play knight b4. I can also go queen e1, I think. I'm going to go queen e1. With knight d3, I always have a rook a4 check. I also have rook d3 and king a1. I'm trying to go queen d1 here. He doesn't really have a lot of material. He's only he's only got he's only got two knights. That's it. He goes knight b3, which I saw, but I thought I wait. I thought I could take and go rook c2. Yeah, I think I take and go rook c2. A2, king a2. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. I go here, and now I'm threatening check on c6. I'm also threatening the rook. I'm also threatening a3. If it goes back to b6. I check and take, and I end the game on the spot. And if he trades rooks, I just take and I have queen c3, and that, that must be winning. And he goes queen d3. I think queen c3 is just safe. It looks safe to me. I go king here. Queen e2 is also maybe safer, but this works too. Look here, here. Oh, he tries this, but I think I just go here and check or check. Uh, I think 
I just go here, c5, king, a3. And now I just unwind it. Go here and rook b5, of course. All right, next game. Go g6, bishop g7, uh, maybe a6, maybe b5 here. Actually, I'll play b6, bishop b7, maybe e6, d6. Let's go here. Go here and e6. 97, h6. Everything looks pretty stable so far. Go e5. This is uh, Nicholas, Nicholas Theodoro, the, the Greek geek. Um, I like that nickname, the Greek geek. It's, it's a cool nickname. Uh, there's a pawn hanging, although... Again, I don't know why I played the hippopotamus. I'm sort of cruising in this match, and I choose to play the hippo at a very poor time. Well, let's go back. I can always take... Oh, knight h2, which I forgot was a move. Uh, this is, this is going to be pretty ugly. Uh, queen g4 is strange, actually. Let's go here. Queen g4 is a very strange move by, by the Greek geek. I don't like it actually. I don't like it at all. And I just get to develop and I'm pretty happy, I think. Strange choice. Time to mute. Oh, you don't like Ed Sheeran? That's gonna have six here. Oh wait, sorry, this isn't Ed Sheeran. This is uh this is Justin Bieber. Sorry, wrong, wrong, wrong dude. Let's go B5 and take. Sorry, let's take and castle here. All right, yeah. Yeah. Wait, what, what did I just do in the meantime? Why did I allow this B4 nonsense? I should have played A5. Okay, I'm going to go here, guard the pawn. Pro this is actually really, really bad for me. Like, really bad. I think I'm going to go here and maybe try to go Knight C5. Maybe sack something eventually. I'm going to go here. I've got to take and, like, block somehow on A6 only chance I have I like Ed Sheeran because he clearly didn't get where he's at because of his looks okay good one okay what's he gonna do here um yeah okay I think I'm gonna just play c6 and knight c oh shoot forgot he could do that knight g4 is a logical move I mean this is actually really quite bad I need somehow I need to get my pieces in the game. I'm gonna go here and just try to salvage it. It takes, I take, I need queen d7. That's what I need. Queen e8. Actually, queen e8 looks fine. I'm gonna try to take this pawn. If he takes, he just opens up everything that I'm dreaming about. Maybe not everything that I'm dreaming about, but it's definitely playable. He's looking to make some kind of sack, but I don't think the sacks quite work here. It takes 19. Okay, it goes there. So, I mean, obviously take. It's actually pretty gross to do that. I don't really want to do that. Question is, can I somehow move my pieces around? I'm going to go here and maybe rookie seven. I'm going to try to swing some stuff all over the place. Let's go here. Trying to look for some kind of e4 thrust at some point. Maybe I go king h8 to, to, to dodge this diagonal. I'm going to go here. Now Now my intention is to take... Okay, let's see. Takes, takes f5. There's still no... Okay, whatever. I'll just move. He's got to prove it. He's, he's down on the clock. It's on him to prove it, not on me. I mean, I'm obviously much worse. It's on him. I mean, if he's not gonna, I mean, I I can't risk it. I think I lose if I take. So I don't I don't mind a draw there, because I assume that ever that um, this feels so bad. No, I mean I was completely lost. Computer probably says plus five. What what does the computer say, you guys? Someone knows the computer can tell me what the eval was, but I bet it was like plus five. I mean it was completely over, like completely over. Okay, he's gonna do the same thing. Let's go here. Let's go here. Oh, did I allow some trick? Okay, let's just go back. Hmm. Go here, trade some pieces. Take knight of three, castles. Actually, I do have bishop h6 here. And knight g5. 
I should have two king f2. I should have two king e2, and I win the game, I think. Oh, he goes for it. Okay, wait. So let's go here. E2. Maybe I should have gone to d2. That was a better, maybe a better square. Take the rook. Hmm. I just go king d2. What's this move? I don't want to play knight g5. I don't really want. I'm just going to go here. So if knight g3, I think I can actually go knight g5. Okay, it does it. Engine was plus four. Yeah, I mean, it was a disastrous position. Let's go here, knight f3. Go here. I mean, I have some weird knight h7. That's what I'm banking on here. I mean, my king is kind of running running for the hills. It's a strange position. After takes, I have knight h7, takes bishop e3. Okay, take. Oh, I blundered this. Oh, what the hell? What the heck? Oh, my God. Although, it's not so easy. I still have queen g4 and c3. Trying to play for g4, maybe. <sighs> so bad. Forgot about that completely. Of course, I'm completely lost here, but I will try to play on just because why not? No reason not to play on. I mean, I'm up on the clock. And worst that can happen is I lose the game. But so what? Uh, let's go here. I'm going to try to go queen g5 or something. He's also using way too much time here to get to this position. I'm just gonna move my king. Why not? Bishop d8. Okay, I think I can play like rookie one, maybe. Oh, I see his idea. Um, he wants to go queen h4. Now, now I see his whole idea. Um, let's go here though. Let's just wait. It goes d4, so I'll take. I'm gonna go eat. Let's go here. Still have nothing, of course. I'm gonna go here. Maybe bishop c7 or something. Go here. It's a pawn that he just blundered. Now it's getting a little bit airy. My bishop d6 too. But we starting to misplay this. It's getting very scary. I have rook c7 now. Seven, he just blundered. Or did he? Wait. No, it's still a game, I guess. Back and now I take. I blundered this shoot. Go here. There. If he moves the knight, I take the pawn. Um uh, check. There we go. We get the win. Awful game. Don't ask me how I won that. Just down a piece, completely lost, and I still won. Just kept the game going. Okay, let's play. Uh, let's play a center counter. Let's change it out. Um, or change it up, I should say. 
I'm gonna do this one. I, I want a very nasty game against uh, Ali Reza in this line. I think Black's okay here, but it's quite dangerous. You should be very careful how you play it. Okay, this doesn't really do a whole lot, does it? Or go e6. I don't think this works for white, but maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it does. I don't know. If he takes, I just take. If it goes 95 e6, I have knight bd7 and takes. Rook b3. What the fridge is this? Let's go here and bishop d7 and queen c8, I guess. I don't buy this at all. I don't buy what I don't buy what Criari is selling. This looks like total nonsense. It's knight c6. This looks some, some kind of new age hippie opening that just cannot possibly work. I mean, I'm up a pawn here, so let's just. Let's just trade some stuff off. Why not? No such thing as chaotic tranquility. True. Okay, I just take. I mean, I'm not much better, but it's still a pawn. I think Dagus Papa for the tier one. Thanks so much. I go knight d5, of course. And I'm up a pawn. How bad can this really be? I can go queen a6 even. Yeah, I can even go queen a5 here. This does not look right. I mean, takes and c5 even. Let's trade and go here. C4, I have 97, I think. Okay, 97 looks completely fine. Now, let's just go here and trade, and I mean... Oh, I blundered Rook E6. Oh, my God. Or did I? Wait. No, I have here, here, and Queen G5. Oh, my gosh. That was very poor. Okay, let's go here. We'll see. We'll see. I have Queen G5. That's my whole... That's what I'm banking on. And he clearly didn't did not see this. So I take the pawn. I've got queen e1. I've got queen d6, queen e5. I've got rook f8. I think I'm better here. How fast I saw that crazy. Okay, well now now I'm gonna go for the kill with queen e1 and rook d2. Rook d2 or rook d wait, rook d2, queen f3. So I go here. Trying to checkmate him on h1 or f1. Oh wait, this isn't mate though. Oh, this isn't even mate. I should have gone like rook d4 or something. It's not mate. I thought it was a checkmate, but it's not. He has queen e8, and I don't actually have a way to mate him. Oh, very poor. I go queen h1, king h3, queen here, king takes, though. That's got to be good. Wait, check. Check. And now I take, and I cover f8, and now, now he's losing. Very, very good. Very poor into very, very good. How am I still chessing? Uh, what do you mean, how am I still chessing? You mean because I've been streaming for three years? Or three years seriously? Or what, what do you mean? I don't, I don't know what you mean. Let's take cover the check. Or you mean nine hour stream? I don't know which one you mean. Um, or eight hours or whatever it is. I don't know. Yeah, I think we're at seven. We're at like seven and a half or something. Or maybe eight. I don't know. I'm going to play D4. I'm tired of playing the same openings. Let's play the Trump house key. All right. Why does everybody play this? It's so annoying. So, oh, I did not expect that. Okay, I guess I'll do this here just keep it very very slow I, I actually played this a lot when i was younger rook c1 maybe queen c2 b3 is also a pretty reasonable move i'm gonna play b3 just because maybe b4 b4 is better actually let's just go here i'm gonna put the knight here maybe ro rotate the knight around it's actually just kind of bleh. i've actually already misplayed this go here be very careful now. Here, I'm going to go knight f3. Trying to consolidate this knight f3 and rookie 2. Just rookie 2. With f4, I can just take and take, so I'm fine. Not a great position by any stretch. So here, I guess. I've got queen c4. That's, my, that's what I'm banking on. Oh, now I gave him a four. <sighs> Although I can take, I guess. Takes, 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 and I'm fine. Barely. Barely fine. Okay, let's play rookie one here. Okay, Kriari missed a chance. He had a huge window there to maybe get a big edge. F four, I just take, and I'm completely safe now. If 
queen d5 i have queen c4 here um yeah it's not it's not good not good it goes knight f6 which kind of starts to i think that starts to ruin the position okay he goes there so he's still looking to play f4 so the question is how do i play this where my knights are on the ideal squares now yeah, i'm gonna go knight g1 it's kind of a weird piece placement but i think i'm gonna put my other knight on f3 and then put this knight on h3 maybe the weird config of knights but these knights need to be on different squares than they currently are or if i could put the knights on d3 and f3 that would be helpful too okay so i'm gonna go here because now i can take with the e-pawn still and then maybe i'm gonna go knight h i think i'm gonna go knight h3 and knight f4 at some point okay let's go here put this knight on okay okay it seems like he's just is he content to make a draw or what is he doing exactly he goes okay i'll just go here and trade Goes there it's actually quite scary um uh uh this is actually very scary how do i play this this is not what i want to do let's go rook c1 maybe just did i finally make a blunder yeah i did finally make a blunder i finally allowed f4 it was going to happen sooner or later it's a question of when Uh, let's go here and takes i guess oh this was uh, i just blundered so here i guess let's go e6 oh now i just blundered this too Oh, he doesn't actually queen e2 i thought was winning when he goes this way there 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 i mean to go here wait i think he just made a blunder wait he actually made a blunder here because now queen e2 i have king wait is it whoa wait a second e sub Okay. Go here. Oh, maybe I just blundered back. Should have gone king e6, but anyway, it's still fine. I just. Uh, do I go here? Actually, wait a second. Oh, wait, no, he can just take on f7. What am I doing? Okay, let's just go here. Oh my god, now I just blundered it again. Or wait, no, I've got king d7 doing oh, yeah, yeah. what was that Yeah, it's a draw. I'll live with a draw there, too. Yeah, that was so bad. I mean, that was terrible. I was very lucky to get a draw again. Problem for Criari is that every game that he survived, every game that he gets a winning position, ends up being a draw. That's actually his problem. Because every position that's that's winning for him, he ends up, like, it ends up being a draw. And so, like, even though he's doing well overall... Oh, he's gonna do this one? Shoot. And this is just a draw. Um, I'm gonna play something weird go here let's just play chess i know that this is bad but i'm um, but, but it's what it is it's castle go here maybe bishop a6 let's create some new theory instead of making a draw no draw here no draw no draw we play chess we play to win we don't play to disappoint the sponsors i'm just gonna go rookie eight maybe bishop f8 maybe bishop b7 um uh let's just go here oh he's got knight f5 which is kind of annoying don't love it I mean I have a feeling I'm gonna get smashed in this game but it's worth a shot no Berlin draws allowed yeah no Berlin draws 
No Berlin draws. On each like this, true. True, true, true. It goes knight g5. I mean, this is this is this does feel very scary. Uh, let me think about this. If I go g6, knight f7 is no good. H6 takes takes. I mean, I feel like he's about to sack something. I'm gonna go g6 and hope that with knight e4 I can just take right. No, that's just losing. That's just losing. Should have just played h6. I don't know why I didn't just go h6 and play it. Maybe he'll miss it if I'm lucky. I have a feeling I'm not going to get lucky this time, though. Oh, he misses it. Oh my god, he does miss it. 94 was game over. Okay, now, wait. Now this is a pawn? What? Wait a second, wait a second. No, what is what is Nicholas doing? I can play bishop g7 or d6. Wait a second. Go here. Uh, okay, it goes 94, but the move order is wrong here. If I can play h6. I can also take and go... Wait, wait, wait a second. Just take and go c6, and then d5, and now I'm just up a pawn and winning. Now I'm just up a pawn. Much, much better, if not outright winning. Nicholas was distracted by a California girl. Oh, uh, wait, doesn't that... Oh, he can move the bishop. Let's just go... Wait. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, I have g5... I mean, I can obviously just play other moves. Maybe just... What about knight c4? Wait, then knight takes f6. He's still... This guy always has some silly trick up his sleeve. Go g5. Okay, now I go here, and now now it's just winning. So now I just move my queen, and gg's. Or queen e... Yeah, queen e... Rook d1, queen e7 should be winning. I also have f... Wait, f5? Yep, gg's. f4, trap the juicer on g3. Next move... Takes, I can trade and trade. Knight d2 is no good. Knight c3, f4, ggs. There we go. Another another big dub. F5 is for the gallery. I thought F5 was the only move. Maybe it's not. Okay, let's go. One more, one more. Let's play e4. Oh, uh, let's let's try to let's let's meme on him with queen h5. Let's go for a four move checkmate. Let's go for throbbings. Oh, he was ready for it, so I'm just gonna go back to e2. Now I'm going to take the pawn. Let's go c3, d3 here. Mm -hmm. Let's go here, bishop g2. I'm basically giving him a tempo. Knight g4, okay, I'll go f3. I'll go knight h3. I have knight g5. I can also just go like knight f2 or bishop e3. Let's go here. Let's go here. I'm going to play knight d2, of course. Oh, he castles. Interesting. Let's go here. I have knight b3. I can still castle, I think. I can play knight b3 here. Something terribly wrong with this knight b3 because I don't see it. If I go bishop e3, d4, trade, 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 castles, I'm marginally worse, but it's playable. I'm pretty much reverse color G. I'm basically playing down a tempo in this game. Essentially, that's what's going on. It goes there. I can play bishop e3. Oh, it's got... Okay, I'm still going to play it. I take. Wait, but this allows me to... Oh, what did I just... Wait, what is this? Take. Wait, this is very weird. So if he takes, I take. If he goes knight d4, I just take. He takes, I take, and he has to worry about his bishop h3 thingy too. Let's just take. It's a safe pre move at any rate. Okay, so he takes, so I mean, I can take on b6 here. Do I take on b6 or do I take on b3 is a big question mark. Queen d3, queen d3.
guess I will just take. Take. Let's go check and rook c3, I guess. I mean, I can go queen c2 and king e2. That's my idea. Go here. I mean, it's queen d3, rook c3, draw. But, I mean, I think I'm much worse if I don't do this. Queen e5. Okay, let's just castle, I guess. Now I get a 4. A 4, maybe e5. This actually looks quite dangerous for black. We got queen f3, e5, long diagonal here. This looks really, really problematic. Queen d5. I mean, I think he's trying to be cheeky here. I'm just going to ignore him and play e5. I don't care. Now I go here. And he resigns. We get the dub. Because I go queen f3, I line up the battery, and I attack the knight. Only move is knight d5, and then I go rook d1. Can't move the knight because of checkmate. And um, he's just getting checkmated here. Just getting GG'd, basically. So he's, it's just toast time. Toast time. Think of this queen's game for the three months. He hung his queen. No, he didn't hang his queen. If I take the queen um, in this position, if I take the queen, he can take my queen back. But I just ignore it and go e5 uh, because I don't need his queen. I want his knight instead. I miss rook c8. Where? Rook c8 where? Wait, rook c8 which move? Oh my god. Oh, no, wait. No, he just takes with the rook. What do you mean? What? Oh, I've got rook c... Oh, oh, I played the I played the other move that wins with... Uh, I played the other move that wins. I played the other move that wins with uh, with queen f3. But yeah, rook, you're right. Rook c8, and it's a, you're right. Rook c8 is a fossil, and I win the queen. That's true.